just bumped four or five deer that were bedding right off the backside of the green field right here. I'm gonna go set up in that one of these humps right on the edge of the field. Welcome back everybody. It's the very last day of 2021, believe it or not. I think 2021 will be a year a lot of people remember as a horrible year. It'll be a good year to get behind us and march forward and move into 2022. Hopefully 2022 brings a lot of uh, good luck to a lot of people. Hoping I have some good luck tonight here with the flintlock. I'm in Pennsylvania on my buddies. And uh, when I came down here, I, you guys seen I bumped some deer off the back of this field. But I've set up to where the corner of the field's about an 85 yard shot. And that's where a lot of these deer have been coming out into this field at. I'm looking for a big doe if uh, they give me an opportunity and I still have my buck tag, so. I can shoot a legal buck and I keep thinking I'm hearing stuff, but I can't hear, so I'm probably not hearing anything. We're going to sit tight. I made myself a little spot in the leaves right here. Cleared all the leaves out, so I'm nice and quiet. I got my wool rich on. It only makes sense when you take the flintlock out to get the Woolrich out. They just kind of go hand in hand. I got an awesome spot on this little tree right here that I can, I'll be able to pinch my flintlock in between that crack. And a lot of these deer have been coming out right over here in the corner. So, fingers crossed, we'll see what happens. I figured I might as well update you guys on my coyote trap and uh, my Ohio hunting situation right now. My uh, coyote traps haven't had any luck at all. I only set that one dirt hole on that coyote trail that was down in Cherry Ridge that pretty much all summer and all early fall I had coyotes running that trail. As soon as I set that trap, was pretty much nothing and then I did have coyotes run that trail but they didn't even stop for the trap they didn't smell anything believe it or not I caught a, a cottontail rabbit in the trap the one night and then a red fox came and found the rabbit in the trap then ate the rabbit that was in the trap so no luck with uh, with coyotes on that trap I actually uh, took the traps out of there so I don't have any out right now but I know I've got some questions about it, so I just wanted to answer them. So my Ohio hunting situation, I was looking forward to getting out there uh, quite a few times here in the month of January. And unfortunately, the big buck that I was hunting actually shed both antlers last week, unbelievably. Which is odd, because last year he didn't shed till the end of February. This year he shed... Uh, the end of December so I don't know he looks really run down uh, he's not wounded he just looks like he's really run down it, it's certainly a really old buck but I went out there and checked those cameras this morning and uh, looked around a little bit for his sheds because I know they've got to be laying right there somewhere and I uh, didn't have any luck 
there are a few other nice bucks up there, so I'm hoping that uh, with my cell cams out there, I can get somewhat of a pattern, maybe be able to get a, ch a shot at one of those, you know, during the late season in Ohio. Uh, late archery season goes for a long time, so I've, I've still got plenty of time. This weather's killing us, though. So I really need, you know, cold and snow, and we're just not getting it. Hopefully we see some deer out here tonight. Eating some deer jerky. Just had three of them come out. They're too far for the flintlock. And we're getting smelled. I'd like to shoot that doe. I think that's gonna do it on our hunt. 